Mmm, that sure looks good. Cold and refreshing. It's hard to imagine not having a cold drink on a hot summer day that wasn't full of nice cold ice. But would you believe it if I told you that not that long ago, no one would ever consider putting ice right in their beverage? You see, ice was mainly used to keep food cold in ice boxes and freezers and was delivered daily by the local icemen. Being cut or harvested out of the nearby rivers or lakes, the ice would contain the same pollutants that ran through the water during the summer months. So having direct contact with food or a beverage was not considered. Ice harvesting was labor intensive, forcing icemen to have to hand saw the ice one foot, one block at a time. Since ice would keep food fresher longer and the simple fact that it melted daily, demand was always high for the product. With demand being so high, so was the need for finding faster ways to get it out of the lake and to the consumer. This brought about all types of new ideas, concepts, and contraptions. In 1890, Hamilton Prey of Clove, New York registered his idea with the U.S. Patent Office. It was for a new sleigh that would have sharp blades on the bottom that could cut the ice while the sleigh was being pulled by a horse. Known as the 10E Plow, Prey's new invention would rely on the weight of the rider to sink the blades, while the horse would drag the sleigh and the rider across the ice, cutting evenly divided blocks. For the price of $16.50, an iced harvester could get a four-tooth blade sleigh, but for $22, they could own a six-tooth unit that could cut twice as fast. While there are few records that reflect the success rate of Prey's ice plow, at least one has survived, and it can be seen at the Knowlton's North America Ice Museum in downtown Port Huron. To learn more about ice harvesting and to see the tools of the Iceman's trade, visit the Knowlton's Ice Museum of North America. For a moment in histories, museum mysteries, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you that history it lives in all of us. See you next time.